Welcome back to Maintenance Monday and for today's video we're going to take it back to basics a little bit and I'm going to show you how to use a chain tool. So this is the Park Tools CT 3.3. Catchy name I know, there are lots of other chain tools out there and they all look fairly similar and do the same thing. It works by using this threaded section here with a handle. This is, enables us to turn the handle and then on the end we've got this pointy or pin-like section. We can push this to meet up against the pins of our chain and then as such we can apply some force and drive those pins out allowing us to break our chain or reduce it by a number of set links. Now the reason you might want to do that is if you're fitting a new chain to your bike for example and a new chain will be much longer than what you need it to so it enables you to get the chain to the correct size for your bike. Now pushing the pins out of your chain will be uh, a little bit tough because the pins work by using an interference fit on the outer links and as such you are going to have to put a little bit of force through the tool to push them out. So to sit our chain into the tool itself, we line it up on this silver section which has got some teeth on it. Then we hold that in place and then with one hand hold the chain in place. I can then turn the handle of the tool to line up the sections here to make sure the pin of the tool is in line with the chain pin that we're trying to push and drive out. And by holding it all nice and secure and firmly, I can then start to apply some extra pressure and then twist this and start to push that pin all the way out. And like as I said, it will take a little bit of force and eventually you'll start to see the chain pin working its way out the other side. So with the chain pin driven all the way out from both outer links, we can unwind the tool and this will enable us to remove the chain from the chain tool. So having driven that chain pin all the way out, we can see we've got our inner links which are then able to be removed and set to one side out of the way. This is what one of the chain pins actually looks like and then that means we're left with a set of outer links on the end of our chain. Now if I was going to use a joining pin for example this would be perfect. I've got ends of the chain which join and match together. I could simply use the chain tool to fit the joining pin and it'd be ready to go back on my bike. Although I'd fit it onto my bike first, then put the joining pin in. But anyway, you know what I mean. But for this instance, I'm gonna be joining the chain using a quick link, which means I will have to drive this additional pin out so that I'm left with the end of the chain only having inner links. That'll mean I can then link it up to the other end using our quick link. And as such, I'm gonna to need to use the chain tool once more to drive this pin out and then I'll be left with the correct end on my chain, ready for me to fit it back on my bike and install a quick link. So I can put this back into my chain tool again, line it all up, get the pin on the chain tool to line up with the relevant pin on the chain, get it in place, hold it all securely, and then with a firm, firm push, there we go, wind that in, until I can see it's driving the pin all the way out, like so. Back the tool off, remove those links and the sections that I don't need. And there we go, shake that spare pin out. Both ends of the chain left with inner links and ready to go back onto my bike and be joined with a quick link. How simple is that? Right, now I've got to be honest with you here. I did tell you a little bit of a lie. This chain is not going back on my bike. So I've actually stolen it from Doddy's workshop from GMBN Tech. And um, well, I've shortened it by a few links to make this video. So I'm going to put it back in there and hopefully I'll chuck the spare links in the bin and it'll be none the wiser unless he goes to fit his chain onto his bike and um, wonders why it's too short. Fingers crossed. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this maintenance video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and why not let me know in the comments section down below whether you use a Shimano joining pin or whether you use a quick link to join your chain. Anyway, and remember to subscribe to GCN Tech for all things bike tech related and click on the bell icon to make sure you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss a single video. See ya.